Artificial intelligence, AI, is of course at the moment a true hype word. If even Elon Musk uh, uses it uh, regularly, uh, it must be something. Now, AI has been around for a very long time, yeah, so this is not something new. However, the availability of data and the availability of um, linked computing and the Internet of Things make the power of such learning behavior, such um, pattern recognition um, software uh, much greater. Uh, so the reach becomes much greater. So as we already discussed, the container industry is very repetitive in its nature. That also means that learning from the past helps you improve decision making in the future. So within the terminal operating systems or within surrounding intelligent modules, there's great potential for using AI uh, technology to enhance decision making. One hurdle to take is there is quality of data. Uh, so we all know the phrase garbage in is garbage out. So until we get solid information throughout the supply chain shared and put in to those algorithms, it will become very difficult to make uh, good, high quality decisions. And yet today, the quality is still quite poor. Uh, so the discipline to ensure when a ship leaves, as to give a simple example, that your outgoing BAPLI is exactly according to the stowage on the ship, that's unfortunately still uh, a rare event. Uh, so we're dealing with input, which is, well, at best so-so, and uh, we're trying to feed uh, powerful algorithms with that, and we have to, you know, address that. One of the other areas where I would expect to see more uh, AI to be implemented inside automated equipment. Uh, so what we have seen so far is automated equipment that is purely centrally controlled. So there's very little autonomy on uh, the vehicle. Now. The question is, where will it lead to? But I would expect there will be more uh, intelligence uh, inside the vehicle so it can operate without central guidance for a longer uh, period um, during operations. So it becomes also less sensitive to disturbances because it can actually continue without this continuous feed of instructions. Um, you can think of moves within the stack that are automatically generated by the stacking crane because it sees opportunity, it has some idle time. It thinks, okay, I don't get instructions from my central system, but I know um, containers are wrongly placed. Let me solve it. Uh, so we'll see uh, developments in that area. On the other hand, I'm a strong believer that within contained systems, relatively small like container terminals, if you look at the amount of moving parts inside a, a terminal, it's very limited. So the power of central computing can easily deal with that scale. And, and central intelligence gives you an overview, gives you this holistic view, which always leads to better decisions. So I think there will be coexistence of partial um, autonomy and intelligence inside modules, inside equipment. On the other hand, a uh, central optimization from a TOS, from an equipment control system.